if I can please have all the survivors with me here, please. Thank you, Mayor Lucas, for being here today. This means everything to us. Thank you, Christine, Christine McDonald, for sharing your story with me and opening my eyes to this crime that's been going on in my city, and I had no idea. Thank you, Christine. This journey has been a long and arduous one, and there have been many great individuals who have helped me and we are here today because of all of them. And there are too many to name. But I will say this. I will summarize by saying thank you to all the directors. Thank you to all the donors, the commissioners, the survivors, and the dignitaries for where we are today in this moment in time. Thank you to all the guests for being here this cold October day to support this memorial. On this auspicious day, I would like to recount the words of my president, President Theodore Roosevelt, who said he was a pioneer, by the way, of public art, public memorials, public monuments, and public parks. And he said, it is not the critic who counts. It is not the one who points out when the strong man stumbles, or how the doer of good deeds could have done things better. The credit belongs to the one who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by sweat and dust and blood, who struggles valiantly, who errs, who comes up short again and again. For there is no effort without error and shortcomings but who still strives to do the deeds, who knows great dedication, great enthusiasm, who gives herself for a worthy cause, and who at her best, in the end, knows the triumph of high achievement. And if who fails, at least she fails knowing that her place will never be among those cold and timid souls who will never know defeat nor victory. Standing with me today are the survivors of human trafficking. They struggle every day to do the right thing. Their faces are marred by sweat and dust and blood, but they strive hard to do the right thing, to fight for their sisters and brothers who've given their lives for this horrible crime. And we commemorate them today with this installation. About this installation, I have three features that I wanted to quickly highlight to you. Number one, I'm going to take off this mask. It's kind of bothering me. Um, about this installation, I have three features that I want to mention really quickly. One, glass is a metaphor for a survivor. So when glass is born, she's vulnerable. She is vulnerable. She's delicate. And when she comes into the artist's hand, the artist breaks her, shatters her, crumbles her, powders her. But do you think she's destroyed? No, she's not destroyed. She's empowered. By breaking her, you have empowered her. Glass is a metaphor for a survivor. Number two, glass is independent. I have always seen through time in stained glass, that glass is being held by metal. Metal supports the glass, but metal blocks her light. I say no, glass can stand on her own. I have tried very hard for months, and I finally achieved it, that I am presenting the glass today with no metal to take away her light, and it is symbolic for me that she can glow in her own light. When sunlight comes through her, she will glow and she will radiate and she will be the most beautiful self that she can ever be. Glass is independent. And lastly, glass is a pilgrimage. What we have created today is a healing place. 
I know of people who travel far and beyond. They go to all these places to find healing, to find solace, to find penance. What we have, as a community have done today is we have created a place of healing. So when you walk down these steps, you descend into darkness. You descend into isolation right here and then damnation and then you ascend into redemption and salvation. So this is a path that leads you out of the darkness and into the light. But be warned, because if you turn the other way and you come the opposite direction, it tells you another story, which we all need to remember, and therefore make life better for us and for everyone else. So don't go far away, come here. If you ever feel sad, lonely, desperate, given, giving up on life, come here and see this place. This place will heal you, I promise you. And the other thing I want to mention is that this installation is diurnal and nocturnal. In the daytime, it will speak to you in whispers. It will talk to you softly. Come back at night and see how all these pa panels magically transform and become a place of color and light and glory. Thank you to my community for letting me bring glass into the park. Thank you to my community for bringing spirituality into the park. Thank you to my community for bringing color into people's lives. Thank you.